Hi, uh, welcome to International Electronics. In this video, I am going to explain IoT based solar cleaning system. So, in this project, we can uh, clean the solar system by using the, this kind of mechanical setup. So, which means we can easily clean the dust of the dust particle present on top of the solar panel in order to remove the dust particle and improve the efficiency of the solar panel. Okay. So, in this project, we are added a water cooling system like a, we, you, you can see here this is one of the water pump this water pump is to spray the water in top of the panel and then the brush system will automatically get rotation sorry it not get rotation it will get moving uh, from x to x axis and y axis by using this kind of dc motor uh, and then i used some uh, ir sensor also in order to uh, measure the uh, distance of the solar panel in order to stop the motor okay when i'm going to show the demo so before i have to turn on the blink app You can see here so this is the app you can see the voltage current and the total power and temperature as well as uh, this is a water pump on button this is a motor forward and this is a motor reverse okay i'm going to turn on the project project is powered on you can see here the red light led is glowing okay fine you can see the volt you can see the volt rating actually i'm taking demo inside of the room so that's why the solar sunlight not available you can see some volt also like it will some oh. okay fine you can see here so this is a volt voltage to and current is not coming because the two volt not uh, minimum current generating and total power also zero and temperature uh, actually i disconnected the temperature okay it's not a problem but we can uh, control the water pump and dc motor direction also i'm going to turn on the water pump you can see here it get rotation again i'm going to turn on We can spray, we just to use some tube in order to spray the water on top of the panel. Okay, and I'm going to turn on the cooling system. You can see here, now I'm going to turn on the motor. Motor is getting in this direction. Within the limit, this motor gets automatically getting stopped. You can see the air sensor. If the air sensor detected the brush, the system will automatically get stopped. You can see here. You can see the red light. Okay, the red light is glowing, which means the limit is reached. So the system will automatically getting rotation. I'm going to move the opposite direction. Oppo opposite direction, the system will getting rotation opposite, like here to here. It will get moving, moving forward. You can see here. Actually, uh, you can use a high speed RPM DC motor like uh, 1000 RPM or 500 RPM like that. Here I use the 100 RPM. So it will uh, moving slowly. Okay. So when the re when the bus reach this limit, the system will automatically getting rotation due to a short time demo. I'm going to uh, place in finger top in front of the panel. Okay, you can see here if the red LED glowing, which means the limit is reached, so the panel getting rotation. Okay, fine. So this is the complete project. You can see the motor driver. So this motor driver is used to uh, drive the motor forward and backward direction. And this is a power circuit unit. And this is a node MCU. This node MCU is used to control the system as well as it will send the data to cloud also. Okay. So if you have any doubt regarding this project, you can contact our office number. Thank you.